Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let's learn a Python program that is write a Python function to check if a number is a perfect square. So given a number, so you have to check if it is a perfect square or not. So and this you have to perform using a Python function. That is a problem statement. So let's take a sample number that is 25 and raise it to the power of 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5. So if you try to get the square root of 25, so you get the value that is a whole number that is 5. Since 5 is a whole number, so 25 is a perfect square. So this is the statement or the definition of perfect square. So let's take another number that is 30 as my sample number. So what you do is just raise it to the power of uh, 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5. So you get a that is a fraction part as a result. Since you get a fraction, so 30 is not a perfect square. So this is a problem statement. So let's try to solve this using a Python program. So let me delete this. And uh, yeah, so let me import the required uh, function. That is, I will be requiring a square root function. So I'll be importing from the math module. That is uh, from math. I'll be using import square root. So I'll be using the square root function to calculate the square root of a number. So now let's define a Python function to check if a number is a perfect square. So let me define check underscore ps. So this is my function and I'll be passing input argument that is a number as an input to it. So once we are done with the function definition, so let's use a logic. So I'll be using the if statement and uh, performing a square root of a number that is a square root I'll be calling a function and uh, let's pass a number. So here what I'll do is I'll again call the square root function and then convert the result and uh, try to subtract it. Let me copy the same that is a square root of number and over here and then convert this to an integer type. So we are trying to subtract the fractional part if any with the integer part. So if you get a fraction, so then this is not a perfect square. So let's return the false, false boolean value. So if you don't get a fractional part and it is a zero. So if you try to square root a whole number and then convert it into a square root and then convert it into an integer and then try to subtract it. So you get a zero as a value. So in the else block, so what you do is just return a true. Yeah, so this is a four line code to check if a number is a perfect square or not. So in the main program, so let's uh, take an integer variable n and uh, let's use input function call and ask a user to enter a number. Yeah, so once the user enters a number, so let's convert it in, into an integer type. And uh, yeah, so once we get the input value, so let's take another variable that is flag to store the Boolean result of the function that is check underscore ps. So I'll be calling the function and uh, passing the variable that is given integer n. So once the function gets executed, so flag will be storing if the number is a perfect square or not. So let's use if flag. So then what you do is just print n is a perfect square. So let's use a print formatting over here and uh, so let's use n is perfect square. And in the else block, so let's take an else statement and uh, let's print the same that is uh, n is not a perfect square. So let me modify this. Yeah, so this is a complete Python program that uses the Python function to check if a number is a perfect square or not. So let me execute this and let me show you how it works. So let's uh, enter a number. So let's take 25. So you can see 25 is a perfect square. 
and let me execute the second time and enter a number so let's say 30 so you can see 30 is not a perfect square and again let's give something like 9 so you can see 9 is a perfect square 3 multiplied by 3 and uh, again let's give 10 so you can see 10 is not a perfect square yeah so this is a complete uh, python program to check if a number is a perfect square or not so i'll give this code in the description of this video so that's it in this video hope you liked it thank you for watching bye